Whether you're new or old to business, you're probably juggling a lot of hats and that can get really overwhelming. I know for me, I found that Notion to be the one tool that I can use to manage all of the different areas of my business and it really helps me stay on track. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to build your own Notion business hub. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Ademu Shoyo, and I teach you how to get more time, life, and energy out of each day through meaningful and intentional productivity strategies. To create an effective business hub in Notion, you're gonna need to understand the different areas within your business and the things that need to get done within those specific areas. That's why having a good project management system is going to be so important so you can keep track of all of the tasks, you can set deadlines, you can visualize how much you have going on at any given point, which is going to be able to help you grow and learn what it is that you need to be doing and just have a better insight of how things are running within your business. I treat everything in my business as a project that I can really set an actual deadline for from content creation to managing my clients because it just allows me to stay focused and have a better understanding of really how to plan my week. I found that if I don't have it in Notion and I don't set a deadline for myself, it's not gonna get done. And so being able to have a project management space where I set deadlines and I hold myself accountable to those deadlines is a great way to ensure that I am the most effective business owner outside of the other things that I have going on. Outside of you know managing your clients, I think managing your content is also really, really important. In order to start getting new clients and building out your brand awareness, you have to really stay consistent with your content. And the easiest way to stay consistent if you're organized with what ideas you have, when they're actually gonna get scheduled, and just keeping track of your overall performance over time. I have a couple of videos on my channel where I talk about how you can build your own social media manager. And I also share what my content dashboard looks like, but if you're just getting started or if you want to just figure out the simplest way, you just need to have a space within your Notion that gives the list of content ideas that you may have. You're able to keep track of taking those ideas into an ideation to the actual publishing of those ideas. And you're also keeping track of your analytics over time within that same space. Lastly, and probably most importantly, you're going to need a place to really keep track of all of your notes, any important links, or any documents that you may have within your business. I know for me, I have my meeting notes. I also have important links like to my scheduling link, to my client intake form, to my website, to my social media handles. I found that having my links actually just in Notion living there has been far more easier and helps me really stay focused when it comes time to reference something or share something with someone, I already know it's in like one particular place, which makes things super helpful and just helps me cut a lot of the noise that comes with being online, consuming content online. So my suggestion to you is making sure that you are not only just storing them or writing your notes in Notion, but you're also keeping them organized with different tags, in different categories that can really just help you stay more streamlined with your workflows and your processes. I thought it would be a good idea to give you an example of what your online business hub could look like in Notion by taking you through what my online business hub looks like in Notion. So first you can see, all right now I have my business overview. So you can see I have like the overview, which is just like my help statement, simply put my mission, and my core values. I just like to have that top of mind, make sure that I'm always staying focused, making sure that everything that I'm doing, any opportunity that I take on really falls in line with these buckets. 
Um, then I have my important links here. So I have my services. I have the apply to work with me. I have my website and my Calendly link. And so this is just really good for when I'm on the go and someone's like, hey, can I book a call? Or, hey, like, what's the link to this blog post? I'm able to just kind of come here, grab it, and then go to where I need to go. And then this is my different focus areas that I have. Um, so I have branding, um, people, services, content marketing, learning and growth. And I'm not always focused on all of these things all at the same time, but there are projects that sometimes do relate to each of these different areas. So that's just kind of how I have it. And then I've already shown you what my content dashboard looks like. But here, um, I just have like my social media calendar that just has my Instagram and TikTok posts laid out because um, it's just able to kind of quickly see like what's going out today, um, what's coming up tomorrow, where am I at on those different things. And then lastly, I have my projects dashboard. So I have a link to my projects where you can see what's kind of ready, meaning that I haven't started it yet, but I have everything I need in order to get started, what things are currently in progress, what things are blocked, what things are complete. Um, so that just kind of allows me to kind of really visualize, like, am I taking on too much? Am I taking on too little? What are the things that I need to do in order to kind of get things going or really taking things to the next level? And so that is kind of how I stay organized. All of these databases um, are linked somewhere else. So if I want to see a fuller view, I'm able to do that. Um, but this kind of just gives me the snapshot of exactly what I need at a given point. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what is one thing you're really struggling to keep track of within your business. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.